Hello everyone, my name is Vishnu and I'd like to introduce you to Spotter, a software parking solution. Spotter is an application that can be used on both mobile and desktop devices. This application connects to a hardware device that I built for this project as well. This component is built off a microcontroller called the Arduino. A microcontroller is essentially a small computer that can execute tasks through electrical signals. The Arduino is wired to a breadboard that connects the rest of the hardware components together through a series of analog and digital pins. The breadboard connects two light emitting diodes of different colors, green and red, to physically show whether a parking spot is open or taken. The breadboard is also connected to the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor that has two transducers, one for transmitting ultrasonic waves and one for receiving ultrasonic waves. I wrote code using C++ to program this Arduino to send electrical signals to the ultrasonic sensor. My program sends an electric current to the trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor. This sends an ultrasonic wave from the transmitting transducer. This ultrasonic wave would bounce off any object that is in front of the sensor. This distance can be adjusted in the code itself. For this prototype, the distance needed for a parking spot to be considered taken is around 3 centimeters. After a 1 millisecond delay, my program sends an electric current to the receiving pin to prep the receiving transducer for the incoming ultrasonic wave. When the transducer receives the ultrasonic wave, it sends an electric current to the red LED to indicate that the spot is taken. If the transducer does not receive the ultrasonic wave, then it means that there is no object in the vicinity of the sensor, therefore the spot is not taken and the green light remains. This is how the hardware aspect of my program works. For users to access the data and to see if a parking spot is available, they would use the application I developed. The application is written in the Python programming language. I'm sure you are wondering how this software application connects to the Arduino and the hardware components. For this project, I'm using a database called Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch allows me to store and retrieve data in a loop, meaning that it is constantly updated. The data in this case is whether the parking spot is open or taken. This data is stored in Elasticsearch using a program I wrote in C++ coding language, and data is updated every 500 milliseconds. This data is received from the Elasticsearch using this Python program I wrote, called read.py. Read.py takes this data and sends it to another Python program called screen.py. Screen.py contains the code for my app. It creates a GUI that allows users to see the parking spots that are available in a parking lot. While this prototype is great for demos, the real test comes when the solution is implemented in the real world. So let's see how Spotter performs outside, with real vehicles. A quick thing to note before the realistic demo begins. One of the major concerns about creating these types of hardware solutions in Michigan is the ever-changing weather. Before building the project, I researched the various hardware parts that I was planning to use and figured out that many of the hardware components I'd planned to incorporate could not handle extremely low temperatures which are prevalent in Michigan. However, all the parts I'm using currently are weather resistant and temperature does not interfere with them. In order to test this claim, I will be conducting this trial in 26 degrees Fahrenheit which is below the freezing point of water. Now that we're outside, I'd like to briefly walk through how my hardware components are situated. The Arduino and sensor are mounted atop a chair to achieve the most accurate results. My computer is situated here for you to see the application working. The app on the phone will be placed beside me, here. Currently, the LED on the breadboard is green, indicating that the spot is open. The computer application is also showing a green square, indicating that the parking spot is available. On the phone app, the parking spot is seen as an empty spot. When the car pulls in, the phone app displays that a car is pulling into the spot. Once the car is fully parked, the sensor picks up the ultraviolet waves and the red LED turns on. The application then updates to show that the spot is taken in the form of this red square. The phone app shows that the car is fully in place. When the car pulls out, the phone app senses that the car is leaving. The LED turns green, and the computer application turns green. Thank you so much for watching.